Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. The Old Testament books of the Kings are full of wonderful historical detail about the lives of the Israelites, their kings and their prophets. Elijah being perhaps the most prominent of them. One Kings that we're looking at today, the first book of the Kings, was written by Jeremiah, another prophet. And the whole book details life under the kings, the battles they had, and how the Lord was directing them, saving them, um, turning them this way or that way, moving them on in this continuous battle for his people to gain some kind of foothold on some land and live their lives. We're going to jump right into the middle of it all. Um, 1 Kings chapter 19 verses 11 and 12. The Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Well, it's part of, of what happened at that time. So there was a, a great wind, probably a hurricane, tornado, something like that, um, a great earthquake and a great fire. So there's a huge disruption to the natural order of things that happened. And God is saying, these things will happen <clears throat> to you and to those around you. And it's not necessarily I that am doing them. It's not necessarily some message from me or something that I'm determining. These things will happen because life on earth will happen. It is its entity in itself. And we know that, don't we? Earthquakes happen, tsunamis happen, uh, hurricanes and tornadoes happen. Thankfully, not very much in East Anglia, but they happen around the world. What else happens? Um, deadly viruses happen for one reason or another and affect our lives. Dramatic things can happen to us. We've never seen anything in our lifetimes probably as dramatic as we're experiencing this year. Previous generations have done so. World wars have happened. All sorts of things happen. And the Lord is saying to Elijah then and to all of us, these things will happen. It might be what I want to happen. It might be what I'm doing, but not necessarily so. And in this case, after all those dramatic things happened, came a gentle whisper. And that was the law. The gentle whisper really is a, an, an illustration of the gentleness, the quietness, the calmness, the peace of God. And in the midst of all these difficult times, he's saying to them, I will be there. I will be there with you in a gentle whisper. I will be helping you through them. I will be helping you over them. I'll be helping you to contend with them. Well, what a word for today that might be. During all of the trials and tribulations we have during uh, a coronavirus pandemic and the, uh, the problems of COVID-19, and there may well be people who are watching this whose family has suffered at the hands of COVID-19 maybe some who have died at the hands of COVID-19. God is saying, through it all, I am with you. I am there for you to call upon, to lean upon, to rest upon. I will be with you in the gentle, quiet whisper. And that should be a great comfort to us because we can turn to our God and say, Lord, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to deal with the situation I might be in, but I know that you are with me in it and I draw strength from you. That's our word for today. That's our lesson to be learned from scripture today. That no matter what we're going through, the Lord is there with us in a gentle whisper, if we but turn to him. Have a good day, stay safe and lean on the Lord. Bye now.